Sultanat. Auz billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Assalamu alaikum uh, my good children at home. I hope you have been doing my assignment. The assignment I've been giving you have not been receiving much. But thank God a few of you are submitting. So now today we are going to continue. The topic of today is the meaning of Islam and the subtopic is the pillars of Islam. Islam means in Arabic means submission and peace. But in the real sense, Islam is the religion that uh, was revealed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now let's come over to the board and see what is written there. The word Islam is taken from the Arabic word Salam, that is a Salam. In Arabic language, Islam means submission and peace, but in a religious sense, Islam means a religion revealed by Allah to Prophet Muhammad and it consists of five pillars which we are going to discuss today. The first one is Iman. We have to have Iman and the Iman is divided into five. That is to believe in Allah, to believe in angels is Iman. To believe in the Prophet is Iman. To believe in the Day of Judgment is Iman. To believe in Kadiri, that is destiny. That is good or bad that happens to you is Iman. So you can see Iman is divided into five. It's one of the first pillar of Islam. The Iman is the oneness of Allah and the messengerhood of Prophet Muhammad You have to believe in that. Even if you are going to, somebody is going to become a Muslim. He has to testify. There is a testimony to, that is Kalimati Shahada. That's La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. I testify that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. You have to believe in that as a Muslim. Then the second pillar of Islam is a salat that is prayer. A Muslim should pray five times a day. He should observe his five compulsory daily prayers a day. Then the second of the pillars of Islam is a zakat. A zakat requires a Muslim to take out his money from his wealth to give it to the poor and needy. That is somebody that needs it. There are conditions for or there are people that are supposed to be given zakat. Then the other one, that is the fourth one. The, no, the third one is the uh, is the fast of the month of Ramadan. You have to fast in the month of Ramadan. It's one of the pillars of Islam. Then Hajj. That is the last one. Okay, the Ramadan is the fourth one. The last one, the fifth one, is the Hajj. If you have the means. Uh, Mr. Ayla is a pillar. That is if you have the means. If you don't have it, it's not compulsory for you to do. So these are the five pillars of Islam that a Muslim is required to observe. There are pillars. You cannot take one and leave others. It's just like a house that has five pillars and they are on the five pillars. If you remove one of the pillars, the house will collapse. So a Muslim should believe in the five pillars. You should not take any one out of them and use others only. You should use all of them. You should believe in all of them. So the homework is mention the five pillars of Islam. They are there. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.